What's up, Ross Spike Tribe? This is Ross Spike 125 back for yet another great reaction. Okay, this is Dave Allen on airplanes. I've done a Dave Allen one in a while, I think. I've done, I've done uh, two, I think. One was like a stand up one on time, like telling time or something, or teaching the kids the time. And the other one was like a sketch show. You know, they're both very good. Both very, very funny. This is another stand-up one, I think. Well, it's, it's a show. It's part of his show. But it was like a stand-up version. You know? Or at least a snippet of that. It's 10 minutes. 26 seconds long. Looking forward to it. Now, I just want to say that I do have a second channel. It's called Royal Spartan Take 2. And it does movie and TV reactions. And some anime in the future too. I've got a couple of episodes of anime recorded. If you guys like TV and movies, you might want to check them out. Because you also, I know you also like reactions because you're watching this. <laughs> so yeah, you might want to check out my movie and TV reactions. And let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and the other channel. It's only got like 8 subscribers right now. I'm trying to build it up. So please help me build that channel up a little bit. And uh... If we get it monetized as well, just like this one. And who knows? Yeah? Okay. Uh, let's jump in. When I fly, I don't want to work care about wide seats, short seats, reclining seats, how much booze they're going to give me, what food I'm getting. When I fly, three things I want to know. Will the plane take off? <laughs> when, it, when it's up in the air, will it stay in the air? <laughs> and when it comes down, is it coming down where they said it would come down? <laughs> Let's face it, uh, I'm orange right now because the screen, you know, he's, his background is orange. But let's face it, that, those are the three questions everybody asks, or would like to ask when they're getting onto the plane. Yeah, he's right. He always is, you know, but yeah, it's just like the three pri primary questions that everybody should ask before they get on a plane, yeah? And when it comes down, is it coming down where they said it would come down? <laughs> That's all I want to know. <laughs> get on airplanes. Good. The language. The language of airlines. Planes are never late. Have you noticed that? They're delayed. <laughs> you get on the when they, the take and there's always you see there's always these words that they use. Words are very important. The psychological wording. You get on an airplane, sitting on the runway, ready to take off. That's when the hostess always tells you about the things that can go wrong with the plane. <laughs> tell you that when you're buying the ticket, do they? No. They never say the wings could fall out or oxygen will fail. None of that. They wait until you're sitting there. Not only are you sitting there, but you're strapped. <laughs> you're strapped into this bloody thing. And then under the guise of talking about the doors, they're giving you a blessing. You know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Use words of uh, if by chance, if by chance, the pressurization of the cabin drops. Sorry to stop it in the middle of that there, but how many of us are going to be getting on a plane after this? Yeah, how many? Uh, I haven't been on a plane in years. I'm, I'm a big guy, so I don't want to go on a plane. I think the last time I was on a plane. When I went for an operation, I had to fly somewhere, you know, after the operation, after so much recovery, I had to fly back, I had to fly over again, get, get something removed, and uh, then fly home again, the same day. But yeah, I've had enough of planes last me a lifetime. Never enjoyed it. 
I just don't like planes. I just don't like going on planes. It just doesn't feel natural, you know? It doesn't feel right. I don't know why. If by chance, if by chance, the pressurization of the cabin drops, oxygen will be provided. <laughs> That's bloody nice of them, isn't it? <laughs> They've got you up to 35,000 feet. They're about to asphyxiate you. No, we'll give you some oxygen. <laughs> and it's all that oxygen will be provided. If an oxygen mask drops down in front of you, please place it over your nose and mouth and breathe. <laughs> Where else, for Christ's sake? <laughs> That's the only part of your body you can breathe through. You're not going to stick it on your arse. <laughs> And these things drop out of the roof like used contraceptive. <laughs> and you're going to go, oh, look at that. Oh, that's interesting. The pressurization of the cabin must have dropped. They're providing us good oxygen. Oh, wow. Oh. Very interesting, is it? Yes. Crap. Let me tell you, if you're sitting there at 35,000 feet and those things drop down in front of you, the first thing that happens is your anal nerve goes. <laughs> <laughs> and on a jumbo jet that is 500 anal nerves so the quicker the thing you get that thing over your nose the better <laughs> uh, words like emergency landing have you come across that emergency landing emergency landing this clever wording it's an emergency, but it's a landing. They've got you down. We're pros. It's an emergency. We've seen you through. We've got you down. You don't have to worry about things like that. Emergency. Somebody says emergency to me. Crash! <laughs> That's what it is. Crash! Emergency landing. Hit, thump, wallop, bang, bump into. We're about to make an emergency landing on the side of this mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely things like, make sure your safety belt is fastened. Can you see yourself going through all this? The plane is coming in. <laughs> now, I've, I'm sure I've said this before on his other videos. He, all he's doing is telling the truth. That's it. He's doing it in a funny way, yes. But all this is 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 plain truth. You know what I mean? He's just telling the truth, man. But there's so little truth in our lives these days, you know? That's why comedy like this is so important. You know what I mean? It's it's it uplifts you, it makes you feel good. And all he's doing is telling you the truth. That's it. In a certain way. Your belt is fastened. Can you see yourself going through all this? The plane is coming in. <laughs> Your table is stowed. <laughs> Seat is in an upright position. Make sure that all the crockery and glass things you give to the hostess. Hostess, excuse me. <laughs> We're coming into the side of a mountain. Will you take my glass away from me? your teeth out <laughs> they don't say take your false teeth out they say take your teeth out <laughs> people sit there with spoons going <laughs> <laughs> place a pillow on your lap and place your head on the lap you see that sitting there coming to the side of a mountain with your head on your lap that's so you can kiss your ass goodbye <laughs> yourself brace yourself <laughs> what did you do when you hit the mountain i braced myself that's what i did <laughs> do 
you know that an airplane, after 18 hours of flying, is just filled with vomit, defecation, and farts? <laughs> that's all it is. It hits the side of a mountain. That's why nobody will go near it for days. Uh -huh. Have you heard? If in the unlikely event of us having to put down on water, there's a double doubt there, isn't it? If unlikely, put the two. The, if unlikely, put down on water. Put down. Put down. Leaves put down. Thistle down puts down. Feathers put down. Jumbo jets. Have you seen one? <laughs> it's as big as this theater, for Christ's sake. If I took this theater up to 35,000 feet and dropped it, it would not put down. It would bury itself in the bloody ground. That's what it do. If in the unlikely event of us having to put down on water, you will find your life jacket under your seat. And then they show you how to put it on. You place it over your head, you take two ribbons, you circle the body once, tie it in the bow on the left hand side, and they do it. <laughs> Can you see yourself coming out of the sky at 900 miles an hour? You see in the Indian Ocean? It's enormous. It's black and nasty and enormous. It's got waves, huge, gigantic waves following each other all around. And you look at your safety card and you have landed in the Indian Ocean. Your captain has managed to find a flat piece. <laughs> All little blue waves all around it, all pretty. <laughs> the yellow slides coming out of the side of the airplane. People going. <laughs> the dinghy with a bell tent. Children say, Mommy, we're going camping in the Indian Ocean. <laughs> you see pictures of the people leaving the airplane. <laughs> the asshole with a briefcase. <laughs> was saying, thank you for flying. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing you never see in all that is little black fins, do you? <laughs> you never look at those pictures and there's little black fins all floating around, do you? You get in an airplane and you're looking at the safety card and it has black fins on it, I have been there before you. <laughs> That's what I do on airplanes now. I get the safety cards and I draw in little black fins. <laughs> And get a red ink and kind of put little bits of red in it. You know what? He's doing you a service, yeah? He is preparing you for what will happen if you... if your captain has to put the plane down in the water. He's preparing you for it. That's a good thing. It's a good thing. Because who wouldn't want to know that they're about to be eaten by sharks? That's what I do on aeroplanes now. I get the safety cards and I draw in little black things. <laughs> and I get a red ink and kind of put little bits of red in it. <laughs> and for your added safety, while you're in the Indian Ocean, they give you a whistle. <laughs> in the Indian Ocean? <laughs> Miles of nothing? Huge waves. <laughs> <laughs> Rescue plane, 40,000 feet. <laughs> you dead bastard! <laughs> you know, the one thing I've always, always you hear about, but any sort of mishap with airplanes, the one thing that they always find, the only thing to get back is the flight recorder, don't they? The black box. They always get the black box back. It's waterproof, bombproof, fireproof. It is totally indestructible. 
Now, why don't they put wings on it and let us fly it? Nothing but truth. Nothing but truth. I, f I would fly in a little black box, sure. We can fit into it, put a pair of wings on it, make it aerodynamic, sure. Yes, let's do it. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you liked the reaction. That was really good. I enjoyed it. It was really funny. I needed that. You need a little bit of comedy in your in your life every once in a while, you know? So I really enjoyed that one. Yeah. And if you want to see more of Dave Allen, let me know in the comment section. I am actively working my way through the comment section as quickly as possible, trying to just get videos to the people who've requested. At the moment, I'm months behind, but I'm trying to make up for it. And I hope to be caught up pretty soon. Hopefully. Okay. Like I said, I do have a second channel, Boil Spartan Take 2. Be sure to go there, subscribe, and help me build it up a little bit. And until next time, I am out of here.